Hey, this is Brian with WorshipTutorials.com. I want to tell you today about an iOS app that you can use to play pads uh, or really any audio files from any source that you'd like. It's called Soundboard Studio Lite, and there's a link below where you can go uh, grab it and download it. It's a free app for any iOS device. So I'm gonna show you the screen that I'm looking at right now and you can hear what's coming out of the phone as well. And you can see that I have a nice grid set up with every single key uh, for what you can see are pads number five from Worship Tutorials. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to import pads uh, or any audio file really from multiple sources into this app and set it up to play back with a crossfade and all that goodness, okay? So first thing uh, across the bottom you see, the first thing is labeled pads five, but you see board two, board three, board four. This app refer refers to boards, kind of like uh, playlists, you could think of it that way. So I have the first one set up just all 12 keys in uh, using pads five, so I can you know hit one of them and it will start playing. And then I have it set up to crossfade so it will say I'm going from A to D. I hit the D file or the D pad and it crossfades nicely. Now to stop the file, uh, this bottom button over here that looks like a triangle, that's the fade out button. You hit that, playback will fade out. Okay, so let's look at setting up a, a brand new uh, set, or you're gonna set up new files. Let's go to board number four. Let's say we're setting up for Sunday, and the first song we're gonna do is in the key of A. So to add your first track, just hit the plus button, and you can see you can add it from different services. So uh, select from music is gonna be like your iTunes library, whatever you have in the music app on your phone. And then you can uh, get uh, files from Dropbox as well. So I'm gonna show you two ways. First one is from music. So it's just gonna pull up my iTunes library. I'm gonna go to my playlists. There I have pads five. Uh, let's say our first song's in A. Hit the plus sign, done. In it comes. Okay, so our first song is imported, and you'll see all it says is imported track. So if you uh, touch and hold on that, it brings up the menu. You can go to the track name and you can just call it whatever you want A uh, Pads 5. Because that's what uh, this track is. You could name it the name of the song that is first, uh, whatever is easiest for you. Now let's say our next uh, song is in the key of D. So, and let's get it from Dropbox this time. So if you hit import from Dropbox, it'll just pop up a menu that'll connect to your Dropbox account. Uh, and then you can find it wherever you have uh, the files in Dropbox uh, on your account. Okay, so I've navigated to where I have all my pads in Dropbox. And let's say we're gonna grab pads two, uh, key of D. There it is, key of D. It's gonna create a link and then bring it in. Uh, I found that importing from Dropbox doesn't take nearly as much time as importing from music. I don't know why, but there it is already. And you'll notice when it comes in from Dropbox, it retains the file name. Uh, so I would say Dropbox is my preferred method of importing files, plus it's free. Uh, and it's just really convenient. Okay, so let's just rename this to D, call it Pads2. All right. Now uh, we're ready for playback. Let's look at some of the options in the app. So if you hit the uh, settings menu up here, first thing is you can set your fade uh, duration. I found that around five seconds works well for playing pads. The next thing is you can set up your board name. So we were on board number four and let's just call it Sunday. Um, you can also come in here to these default track settings. Some of these settings you have to buy the premium version to unlock, but um, if you want every file you bring into loop and fade, uh, crossfade automatically, you can select these two options and then you can set volume for tracks that you bring in. Uh, and that's it for uh, our options. Now our individual files also have options. So if you touch and hold, you can set individual volumes. So if you have files from different sources and some are louder than others, you can normalize volumes that way. You can set individual files to loop or not to fade out or not, uh, you can change the name. The in and out points I found are a premium uh, version unlock, uh, but with pads, most of the time you just want them to play start to finish. And with the crossfade built into this app, you don't have to worry about setting lengths. Okay, so let's uh, see how this works. I am going to just hit pads, uh, or the, the A pad to start, let's say we're starting our set. Pad start. We're playing our song in the key of A. 
Now let's say we get to the end of the song and uh, ready for the key of D pad. We just touch key of D, off it goes. Switches, crossfades really nicely. And then again, to end it, you put the triangle button for, for the fade out. You don't want to hit pause or stop because that's a hard cut. Okay, so a couple things I really love about this app. I love that it gives you these four grid-based layouts. So you can use one, let's say you use the far right one to always be your current Sunday playlist, but you can have three other uh, setups where you can have really anything. So I have brought in all of uh, Worst Tutorials Pads 5 into the Pads 5 board, and I've laid them out in a grid uh, for keys. So if you don't have you know a set song list, or you're just gonna play, maybe you're at rehearsal or just playing along at home, and you're like, I wanna play a song, it's in the key of A, you just touch key of A and it goes. You wanna switch to the key of E, just touch key of E and it goes. And you'll notice after you play, uh, after you play one of the files, it kind of leaves it uh, purple. So if you want to see what you've played and what you haven't played, that's a nice visual uh, feedback there. And uh, but you can always go back, you know, to a file and play it again. It's really flexible in that regard. You could set up um, another board and use it for bumper music. You could bring bumper music in every key in, so you could just kind of switch between. And the pads will keep playing as you switch between uh, boards or the files will keep playing. So really great functionality uh, built into this app. A couple, a couple notes about it. Um, if you are not using the app, uh, if you're not outputting through the headphone out on the app, uh, your, the output will be silenced when your phone is silenced. If you do use the headphone out on the app, you can silence your phone and it will still uh, play back audio. One thing is that there's a quirk about this app that I'll demonstrate here. Let's just say we're playing this pad in the key of C and you close the app. It turns off. So you will have to keep this app open. So what I would recommend if you use this app uh, on Sunday morning, connect it to power or just make sure you have a full battery uh, before you start your service. But if you connect to power, you should be good to go. And I would also always put your phone on airplane mode uh, during the service. That way you're not going to have to worry about a phone call coming in and interrupting your <laughs> interrupting your service. It's happened before. I can, I, can, I can attest to it. It's happened to me before. So put your phone on airplane mode if you're going to use your phone to play pads. Finally, I'll say this about this video. The reason that I'm making this video and sort of highlighting another app that you can use to play back pads is I have traditionally over the past few years pointed people toward an app called uh, Worship Team Director. Worship Team Director is no longer available. It was made, I believe, by Gateway Church developed it. They haven't developed it in years and so as iOS has kind of upgraded and iterated forward, Worship Team Director has become more and more broken and they finally just removed it from uh, the App Store completely. So Worship Team Director, no longer available, but uh, Soundboard Studio Lite is a great alternative. And in my opinion, it's better. It gives you more functionality. Especially love the way you can lay everything out in a grid and have all 12 keys available at any time. And you can use it with any pad. So if you have pads from other sources, or you can use it with click tracks or files, any kind of audio files that you want to play. Uh, it'll work with this app. It's really easy, really stable, works great. If you are not sure what pads are, hit the link below. You can learn more about that. And again, there's a link to download the free app below as well. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. See you in the next video. Bye.